for the end zone. Touchdown! And the left jab. Takes the shot. Access 7 Sports. For all of your local sports, tune to Access 7. First of all, for sure, uh, from our organization and our team, welcome to everybody. Uh, I know it's exciting for everyone. It's extremely exciting for myself and our group. And uh, there's been a lot of preparation, a, a lot of uh, hype lately. And it seemed at one point it was a long time from about 15, 16 months ago when we were awarded it. But now it seems like it's come like a, a tornado upon us. and. Uh, I can only, in my mind, imagine uh, overall for all our teams here that how exciting it's going to be and how everybody's looking forward to it. You're asking for secrets there. No, not all. <laughs> okay. Well, they had nine days off. Um, then we went into a, about a three-week time frame of uh, really hard, like uh, really hard skating and battling and so forth. It was done on four or five day blocks and then a day off. A little bit of internal competition between the split squads that we had at different times, not necessarily winning a scrimmage or winning a something, but competition. And then we started getting you know, more into, for lack of a better word, systems and uh, made it a large group. And then we, you know, sort of cut back to the last week till, you know, close to the team that we'll be playing. We had some scrimmages in uh, in that last 10 days. We were fortunate with some of our pro players around, some of the guys that played for us got involved. So um, I don't think there's a right or wrong way. Uh, we did talk to Rocky Thompson and, and somebody else, and Dave Struch was involved in one, but um, it's I don't think it's a lot different than anybody else would have done. We lift during the season all year. I mean, when the schedule allows it, I don't. I think most hockey, or all hockey teams do, you know, after a weekend, you have a day off, there's a, there's a work day. Uh, there always has been for my team. So, yeah, that's, that's just sort of part of the process. I mean, have you, just because this, it sounds almost identical to what the Spitfires actually did uh, No, I wouldn't say heavy. Okay. Uh, no. Is it, is it close, though, to the program that the, the Spitfires did a year ago? Uh, the building blocks, maybe a four or five days, but like we did, uh, Dave had one from uh, when he was in Saskatoon and whatever year it was, and uh, Schwinnigan was involved in one where his hosts. So, uh, no, there was nothing identical, but we tried to take the things that we thought were best for us, our team, out of them. But what sort of an advantage, if at all, do you think it is um, that you had a little extra time to actually watch these teams as they were coming through and, and see who you potentially could be playing against? Well, for sure we did that. We have there's a trade amongst the league. We had access to watching the games in the finals. But as John just said, like I don't think um, at any time we don't try to. But uh, you have, you can try and take some things. But I think it's about how your team plays. Like we don't we're going to play a certain way. Uh, the only team, only coach here that I really know how they play is Manny's team, and he knows how we play. Past that. Um, you know, we're going to play how we usually play. And uh, that doesn't vary much, you know, from how, how our opponent plays or who our opponent is. Can you say anything about what this tournament and hosting the Centennial Tournament means to the city? Do you get a sense of that as a coach? Well, for everybody, it means, like, I think <clears throat> that was, you know, it was thought of, uh, was part of when we bid and so forth. But, like, uh, there's only 100th year one 100th year for us, for the Memorial Cup. I think it's uh, extremely exciting uh, for me personally, uh, for our team. And I'll just go back to sometime in February of 2017. Um, Dave Struch asked Sam Steele what he thought of getting. He said, I get goosebumps every time I think about it. That was 15 months before. So, you know, it's, but that's the same for all of these teams and players here. It's, there's only one 100th Memorial Cup. and. Uh, that's why it's such a big event. Uh, we got a tremendous amount of work out of them in the first three weeks of just physical work. Uh, we had some young kids in, so we had a fair amount of players, so we divided into a couple small groups. That way they didn't have to be on the ice for an extremely long time to get work in. So I think their focus was good. Um, 
as we changed to doing a routine to doing something different, I would say that focus was different. But I don't. I just don't think you can go um, that long and not and remain sharp. So uh, this is a new week starting Tuesday. We had Monday off, and uh, we'll be ready to put our best foot forward.